If you're still saying cut down on sugar without actually understanding insulin, you are not ready for the NCLEX. You'll hear about insulin every single shift, I promise you. It's one of the most commonly administered and most misunderstood medications in nursing. But if your patient is eating cupcakes and chasing it with more insulin, that's a blood sugar crash waiting to happen. What actually helps regulate glucose? Insulin is a hormone made by the pancreas. Its job is to move glucose from the blood stream into the cells where it can be used for energy. Think of it like a key. Without it, the glucose is locked out, just floating around, causing damage. Too much floating glucose, that is hyperglycemia. Too much insulin, that's hypoglycemia. When we eat high sugar foods, glucose spikes and insulin surges. But here's what no one tells you. If this spike crash cycle repeats too often, your cells stop responding. This is what we call insulin insulin resistance, and it's a major red flag for type 2 diabetes. The fix isn't just cut sugar. It's choosing foods that actually help stabilize blood sugar. And for my nurses, you need to spot the early signs of insulin resistance before the diagnosis hits. Increased hunger, fatigue, dark velvety skin in the body folds, and central weight gain. If you comment blood sugar down below, I will send you my full blood sugar cheat sheet with insulin functions, fiber tips, and clinical red flags for NCLEX prep.